The past several weeks have been a troubling time for all of us. Faculty, staff, and students have been respectful of the collective bargaining process. And both QP 3902 Unit 1 and the University have tried to arrive at a settlement to end the strike. Both sides have worked hard to find a deal. And yet today, almost four weeks into the strike, we find ourselves at an impasse. Two issues remain as constant and critical needs for our community. Preserving the academic year for all of our students and ending this strike in a respectful and civil way. We feel that now is the time to take a new approach. We have spoken to the provincial mediator and through the mediator to the leadership of the union. And today I am calling upon the union to join us in agreeing to binding arbitration. Under this process, an independent, neutral third party appointed by the provincial mediator would arbitrate all matters that remain in dispute and determine a final resolution that both parties would have to accept. Agreeing to binding arbitration would also mean an effective and immediate end to the strike. So today I am calling on the leadership of QP 3902 Unit 1 to agree to binding arbitration. Time is of the essence as we enter into the final weeks of the semester and prepare for critical year-end exams for our students. So let us agree to binding arbitration and let us agree to end the strike in a way that is respectful of all of our students, graduate and undergraduate, and of our faculty. I believe this proposal is in keeping with a long-standing tradition at the University of Toronto. It reflects the best values of our academic community, working collegially and respectfully and putting the interests of our students first. Finally, let me acknowledge that this has been a stressful time for students. We appreciate your patience and your, de your determination to continue your studies. So to conclude, I remain hopeful that both sides can agree to binding arbitration as a way to end this strike now. Thank you. I'd be happy to take your questions. Okay, we're working doing one-on-one, so we are going to be all your questions. Uh, fire away. We have presented this to the union through the provincial mediator. So we uh, presented this to the mediator, and he conveyed this invitation to the union earlier earlier today. Uh, we have not received a response yet. I think you'll have to ask the union. We have been at the bargaining table for ten months. Uh, we have been. Uh, through a process where we have, we have come to two uh, negotiated settlements. And in both cases, uh, the union has been unable to ratify these tentative deals. Uh, we feel that the time for bargaining is past, and it's time for a fresh approach. That's why we're proposing binding arbitration as a way to end this strike now. There's been suggestions that you're preparing to invoke a policy on We've been working very hard to ensure that all of our students can complete their courses uh, according to the regular timetable by the end of this semester. Uh, we want to make sure that students are able to graduate uh, on time and get on with uh, whatever comes next. Uh, to this point, we have not invoked the policy on academic disruption. Is it a possibility? We're looking at all possibilities in order to enable our students to complete their year, but it hasn't been necessary to this point. If they deny this, uh, We will be working very hard with our departments and all, all three campuses to ensure that all measures are taken to ensure that our students can complete their year on time. You're aware that that would be considered like the nuclear option. You'll have to ask the union for their opinion on that matter. We are taking steps 
right now working with departments uh, and deans and chairs across the university to ensure that our students will be able to complete their terms on time. How is this going to impact the professors themselves? I mean, who lost their TAs? We are proposing binding arbitration as a way to end the strike now so that we can return to normal at the university. And we think this is the most expeditious way of doing this. How is student, student learning been affected by this system? We've been able to maintain our courses in the vast majority of cases, uh, and uh, if we've uh, had to make changes to grading schemes, these have been agreed to by students in class according to the university's standard grading practices policy. Will any students have to be taking some courses in the class the Not to our knowledge at this point. So the union, okay, so we know already that the union has said we gave them a 5 p.m. deadline or something, but we should reduce that because they are not going to be moving with their goals. So is there a deadline to this? This offer is open today, tomorrow, next week. Uh, it's, it's an indefinite offer. However, as I said in my remarks, time is of the essence. We're proposing this as a way to resolve this strike today or as soon as the union can agree to binding arbitration with us. If the union agrees to accept binding arbitration, the strike ends the moment that they agree. They go back to work, and then the arbitrator goes to work and examines the positions of the two sides and decides uh, what uh, is most appropriate. Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay, I'd like to thank you all for coming on such short notice. We appreciate it very much. Thank you very much.